Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with an update for my lipstick roulette. So I believe this is going to be my update number 32. Uh, so we're quite far into this project um, and yeah I'm not going to ramble on too long. I'm just going to jump straight into the lipsticks. The first lipstick we have is this one right here and this one is one of my oldest lipsticks actually because this one is a cream cup from MAC. So this is like I said one of my oldest lipsticks that I still own. It is the first MAC lipstick I bought. Um, and it has a lot of sentimental value to me. Unfortunately, this tube in particular has melted and it is, like I said, getting quite old. Um, I do love the color. It's a beautiful nude. It's a beautiful pinky nude. And I just think it suits me quite well. So I do like this color and I would like to keep it in my collection. However, since this tube is melted, it is quite old. I do want to replace it. So I will be keeping this in my collection as of now. Um, but... I want to replace it eventually so that I have a new tube that um, is easy to use as well as kind of isn't too old. So that's going to be my plan for this one. So I don't really know what category to put that in uh, at the moment. But I think I'll put it in my kick category since I will actually replace it as well. So I will have this in a new tube eventually in my collection. And there you have this swatch of cream cup on my hand. The second lipstick we have is this one right here from Burberry and this one is one of the satin, so, sorry, <laughs> soft satin lipsticks in uh, the color sepia pink. So this color is definitely a fall color so I feel like it's still kind of too early to wear it but it is a beautiful color. I feel like when I was younger I saw this color as kind of like an old lady color however I've definitely gone into more browns and mauve browns uh, in the last few years and this is what definitely something that falls into that category i do like it i think it's beautiful on me as well and i think this is something that i will reach for quite a lot in fall um i didn't reach for it too much over the last two weeks um but it is a nice shade it's a beautiful formula and it's very lightweight on the lips and i do really really like it so that is a reason for me to keep this and um that's what i will do i will keep this in my collection and there you have the Burberry sepia pink on my hand. So next up we have this lipstick right here, which is the one that I'm wearing. And it, this is Lollipop from Revlon. This is one of their lip butters. Um, and like I said, I am wearing this today. It is a beautiful kind of color and I do reach for these colors quite often. It's a blue toned pink. However, it's almost a bit too kind of deep for me and too plummy um i was debating a lot for a long time what i wanted to do with this and i kind of decided to put this on today to make my final decision and these kind of lip butters have grown quite a lot on me and i do like them and i do usually like this kind of blue toned pink like i said however though the tone of this is slightly slightly off and i reckon that once i'm done with this project and on like when I'm done with this round I will probably put this away and if I keep it I will probably put in my thing expecting to use it but I had a think and I think that I have too many similar colors and I think I have variations of this shade that I like more so because of that I have decided to declutter this shade so it will be leaving my collection and there you have the Revlon lip butter on my hand so next up we have a Chanel lipstick and this one is one of their Rouge Allure Velvets in the shade La Fascinette, uh, which is number 38. So this color again, or both of the colors that are coming up are also very fallish shades. Um, this one in particular is a very, very rich red. I love this shade so much. Um, I actually thought about it as more of a burgundy shade, but wearing it on the lips, it definitely shows up more as a red, like a really deep, rich red. I like it a lot and I feel like these reds are quite tricky for me because sometimes I feel like they're kind of off and they don't really suit me. But I just love this shade a lot and I have been wearing this quite a few times actually despite being a fall shade. And um, I just think it's beautiful, kind of red colour. And I do love these lipsticks. This is one of my favourite formulas and I just love kind of the cuteness of the packaging that you can click it up like that. So... All of the things with this lipstick I do really really love and um, if I show you it, you can see that I've already used this quite a bit. So I will definitely be keeping this in my collection and continue using it uh, because I love this lipstick so much. And there you have the Chanel lipstick swatch on my hand. So next up we have another Birkin shade which is this one right here. And this one is from Bourjois and this one is one of their Rouge Edition Velvets in the shade Grand Cru. So this one is actually quite a similar shade to the previous one. However, this one is definitely more of the burgundy shade that I was talking about. It has also more purple in it rather than just red. 
However, this shade I used to think that I really liked and I don't know how because this is one of the most patchiest lipsticks that I ever used. Putting it on, it initially looks quite um, opaque but as soon as you start rubbing your lips together or doing anything, it just kind of lifts up and it goes really, really patchy. I reckon when I used this over the last two weeks, I did use this with a lip liner and I think that's the only way to make this work. So um, I do love this formula, I have a few more of these in my collection and I do love them so so much. I think they're really comfortable, they stay on your lips for a long time. Obviously they are not transfer proof but I just, I just love the formula. I think that was like one of the first kind of liquid lipsticks that I tried and obviously they aren't as the traditional liquid lipstick that we have today. Um, they're kind of more like the um, NYX soft matte lip creams but I feel like these are even more comfortable. So I love the formula, however like I said the shade is really really patchy and because of that reason alone I will be decluttering it. And there you have it swatched on my hand and hopefully right there you can see just how patchy it is. So that is it for uh, the first part of this round and just to sum up I am decluttering two of them and then I am keeping the remainder of the three. Uh, keep in mind that I will replace this eventually because of the age of it but yeah keeping three decluttering two is pretty decent in my um, opinion. So moving on to the second half of this video I am gonna pick some new lipsticks and this it's getting really really small. I don't know if you can see but I don't have many lipsticks left. i actually not sure how many more rounds we will have. And maybe, I'm reckoning maybe two more or three but I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the lipsticks. The first lipstick will be this one right here which is one of the Smashbox mini lipsticks and this is one of the Be Legendary lipsticks in the shade Famous. And there we have Famous swatched on my hand. Sorry about the slightly stained hand. The second lipstick will be this one which is another lip butter from Revlon and this one is in the shade Juicy Papaya. So there you have Juicy Papaya swatched out on my hand. The third lipstick will be this one which is one of my uh, Colourpop lipsticks in the shade Siggy. So sorry about the sun that it came in really really bright but there we have Siggy swatched out on my hand. So the fourth shade will be this one which is from Milani and this one is one of their lipsticks in the shade Matte Naked. So there we have Matte Naked, I actually swatched it down here <laughs> to make room for swatching one more up there. But that is the shade. And then the fifth and final lipstick will be this one which is one of my MAC lipsticks and this one is in the shade Show Orchid. And there we have Show Orchid, some nice kind of bright pink shade to mix up these nudes. So again, sorry about the sun that came in, um, it's just really really bright right now. Um, I actually checked in the bag afterwards and we only have one more round and we have three more lipsticks after this round. So these are going to be my second last round of lipstick roulettes and I think this is going to be really suiting because I'm actually going on holiday uh, two days after filming this video so um, I will post this probably before I leave but I think these are pretty good colors to wear on holiday. We have some nice nudes, we have a um, kind of corally orange shade, we have a hot pink and then this kind of darker shade. So we'll see, um, maybe I'll wear this when I come back or something. Um, or if I just want to be vampy on the holiday, I don't know. But anyway, that is the color palette. Um, I'm really pleased with it to be fair, so I'm happy. But I guess was all for this update. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, and like I said, it's only one more, so it's kind of kind of bittersweet. But yeah, that was all. And um, if you're new here or if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe. I mean, like I said, it's almost over, but um, I will kind of do something similar once this is done. So keep an eye out for that, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.